let me tell you a story that I think will be very important to know in 2024. This is something I struggled with in my six years of owning this grocery store. And finally, I'm really realizing that I need to change. And maybe so do you. Thanks for watching this. So from about 1950 to 1990, this building that my store currently is in was a gigantic supermarket that the community loved. The owners were good people. They gave back to everybody. They supported the local teams. They did the local school fundraisers. They were giving groceries away to community members who were struggling all around just a family business that really cared about the community. 40 years, a staple in the city, untouchable. Teenagers that lived in the area would work here. It was a rite of passage, you know, everyone was a family that worked there. In comes Walmart and it took about three years for the Walmart about three minutes away to crush the store where it completely shut down and became an empty building. So this led me to the one lesson that I really needed to hear and I think it can help you in your new business or your existing business and that is your customer truly owes you nothing. They are self-fulfilling individuals. They are trying to make their life as easy as possible. They're trying to save money just like you are when you spend money on equipment and vendors and whatever other expenses come with your business. So when your competitor comes with a better price and a similar quality product, you have to assume that your customer base will start shifting towards that option. And it took a long time for me to understand that where, you know, I'm doing so much for the community, I'm treating my customers well. We have regular loyal customers. However, they will be fickle. They'll shop where it serves them best at the time or the value or the selection or whatever it may be. No one owes you anything. And that is the one thing that I really wanted to convey in this video. Your hard work does not entitle you to your customer's business. No one owes you anything. I'm speaking for myself. And I think what really gets business owners skewed is they believe if they build it, they will come. However, that doesn't really mean anything anymore. The support local is a cliche that you really have to kind of let go of because people are very individualistic and they're trying to make their own life better. Them paying more and more money for your products, if you're not able to offer something different, unique, or be more convenient, the support local thing really doesn't hold up and it doesn't hold up long term, that's for sure. By all means, I would love to see local stores, boutiques, cafes, nail salons do better than the chains. However, you have to realize at a personal level, people are not that invested in your business. Nobody cares as much about your business as you do. Your employees, your family, nobody. They are trying to live their own lives. They have their own struggles. They have their own things to take care of. So when you start getting bitter about you know, who's coming into our store, who's actually shopping, how much are they spending? You're, at, you're in a losing battle because you have to realize everyone is in their own battle regardless of what you are doing in your business. So it took a while, honestly, to get over this type of mentality that, you know, the community should support a local store. And the only really way I can suggest in your 24, 2024 business ventures is focus your energy on making your customer want to shop at your store. Make your customer want to come in without 
the intention of I have to support local. And the way we did this is we started having items that you couldn't find anywhere else. Homemade items, locally sourced items, items that other places simply did not have. And you have to come here to purchase them. You have to let go that the customer owes you anything but wants to come to your store. Whether it's based even as simple as it's more convenient and your customer service is much more personable. Because there is a population that will be loyal to you. I'm not saying there's no regular customers. It's just you have to understand that in this day and age when people are really struggling to make ends meet, your customer will go out of their way to save a dollar to two dollars on items that they can get at both stores. I have you balanced on a pack of rice crackers right now. It's a very off the cuff thought that I had today. While I was cashing people out, I just wanted to make this video because I know how important and how hard it was for me to get over this. You basically, as a business owner, have an ego because you know, you're know you not in the nine to five labor market. You did something against the grain. And it comes with that ego that you feel that people kind of have to support you or they're talking you know, about your business. But you realize after a little while, you're just another piece of the puzzle. You're cog in the wheel, just like everyone else. You serve a purpose to your customer and they serve a purpose to you. And once you get rid of that ego, that's when you start realizing how to improve your business. So you don't need to rely on, you know, that contempt that you have towards other businesses or your customers shopping at other stores or your customers using other services. This comes with time and it's hard to get over because, you know, you care about your business like it's a child and when other people are, you know, going against that child, it can actually, you know, be pretty mentally draining. But at the end of the day, realize energy focused on the, the contempt is never a good is never a good use of that energy focus it on improving and moving forward i'm gonna end this video here guys thanks for watching i hope you had a happy holidays and a merry christmas and let's move forward into the 2024 year with this mindset on improving our business as much as possible while avoiding that ego that comes with it